Okay, so example number one, finding measures of central tendency, find the mean, median, and mode for these grades. So whenever I see a list of numbers, the first thing I wanna do is put them in order. So we're gonna put them in order, and what I like to do is I like to start, so start with the bottom, so 64, cross it off. The next highest one is 88, cross it off. I'm crossing it off so I don't write it twice. 89, 92, 93, 95, there's two 95s. Yes, write them both. 97 and 98. Okay, so I listed them in order. Now we can find the mean, median, and mode. So mean, remember, is x bar. I'm gonna add all of these up and divide by how many there are. So for sake of argument, we're gonna write it out. 64 plus 88 plus 89 plus 92 plus 93 plus 95 plus 95 plus 97 plus 98 divided by how many there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 plug those in your calculator so we have 64 plus 88 plus 89 plus 92 plus 93 plus 95 plus 95 oops shoot 64 plus 88 plus 89 plus 92 plus 93 plus 95 plus 95 plus 97 plus 98 this is the most exciting part of this 811 divided by 9 is 90.1 that is our mean okay median is the number in the very middle since there are nine values we would just pick the one in the very middle so we go one two three four the one in the very middle is 93 so that's our median okay our mode which one occurs the most often 95 occurs twice everything else occurs once so our mode is 95 so mean, median, and mode, they tell us a little bit about the data. So the average, the average score is a 90.1, the middle score is a 93, and the one that occurred the most often is 95. So we'll do example two in class. 